In this video, I'm going to show you how drop shipping works. So we're going to go into our inventory app. We're going to go to configuration settings. And we're going to look for drop ship. So we're going to enable drop shipping. And we'll save. Next thing we'll do is create a new product that will be a drop shipped product. So we'll go to products, create new, and we'll do drop ship product. This will be a storable product. We'll say the sale price is 20, the cost price is 10. And what we need to remember to do is first, we need to set a vendor for this product. So we'll say drop ship vendor and we'll create it on the fly here. We'll say the price for this vendor is $10. And when we go to inventory, we'll see two routes set up. We want to deselect or we want to select drop ship as the route. And now when we sell this product, it's going to create a purchase order instead of a delivery order. So we'll save this and we'll attempt to sell this product. So now we'll go to our sales application. So we'll create customer one and we'll attempt to sell them this dropship product. We'll save. And now once we confirm this, it's going to create a smart button here for our purchase. As you see, there's a purchase right here. We can use a smart button to go into that purchase. Otherwise, we can go to our purchase application and you'll see our dropship vendor here that's set as an RFQ to purchase one of these dropship items which will then send it right to our customer. If we go into our inventory app we'll see a dropship operation type. There is currently nothing inside of it and that's because this does not this record for drop shipping does not get created until we confirm our purchase. So we'll go and confirm our purchase and we'll see that a smart button gets generated for our dropship record. So we'll confirm this order. And now you see that dropship record. And if we go to inventory, we'll see it here as well. So the way this would work is that once your vendor confirms to you that they have drop shipped the item, you can come in here. If they give you some receipt information, you can, um, you know, add additional information, notes, um, whatever is, if you had shipping enabled, you can set up and, and mark the tracking number for this product, and then you can validate it. And once you validate it, this is saying that, you know, the, the vendor has confirmed that the product is on its way to the customer. So we're going to apply this, and now this moves our product to our partner location or the customer location. So this product is now out, out of our um, inventory or the operation has taken place. So it's never actually in our inventory, but we're confirming it in our record here that has moved along in the process. So now if we go back to our sales order, you see that from the sales order itself, you can have smart buttons that link right to the purchase and now the drop ship um, item from that purchase. So we can always easily see that this item had did go out and when it went out. And that is the drop ship procedure inside of Odoo.